Hey, what's up guys? This is Oakley and Rome 2 Total War. We're going to be playing a multiplayer battle. This is going to be myself as Parthia that you can see here deployed in this barbarian city. Actually a very cool map split with uh, sort of an island here. Almost looks like uh, ancient Paris. I can't remember the name of the map. But uh, yes, it looks it's a very cool map. Very cool for sieges. Um, my ally over here is going to be being Athens. So he's brought a bunch of these pikemen stationed in the rear. And our assailants are going to be two armies. One of them is going to be uh, Sparta, who has a lot of these Greek onagers here. They've already demolished our wall here. Take a look at that. So that's going to be the main breach. And then they're going to be assaulting the rest of the front. The other army is going to be positioned over here. This is going to be the Adrissian Kingdom. And they're going to be having some of these just larger Dacian ballistas. Uh, and then in the back he has a lot of these station peltas and then leading the forefront of this assault is going to be uh, a long line of these nobles pushing these huge siege towers so you can go ahead and watch some of these in the front You're making all haste to the front and let's go ahead and watch some of these guys they're also assaulting on this position so we can go ahead and see what the plans were from our side. So my ally has positioned himself up front with these mercenary Cretan archers. They're going to be taking some pot shots at these towers just to get the initial shots off. And you can see how he's turned on fire. That's going to be obviously with the intent of just shutting down some of these towers. But the fact that there are just so many of these siege towers coming forward means that we're not going to be able to stop them. However, it looks like this one is getting dangerously close to being set on fire. As they make their approach, I have a couple defenses. So we set up some stakes here, some um, of these uh, flaming balls. And then over back here, you know, some more siege defenses. This is going to be a capture point right here. So I set this up sort of outside of this um, wall position here. So I have bait ready. And I'm anticipating the enemy will run through here and I can set them on fire with these defenses. Over on this front where you can see the um, Spartans coming in. I've set up some defenses over here, a couple lines just to hold back this choke point. I knew that Sparta was going to come in through here, so that's why I had all my guys positioned in the back. They're going to be quickly running up to take their position on the walls. So we can watch some of this in cinematic mode. And his men just got murdered in this first volley, a couple of the shots just going through their heads. I'm going to follow that up with a huge cavalry charge that I kept in the very back, so my opponent didn't quite see those forces. Uh, I'm not sure why he ran up with all his peltas first, but he, I guess he did. He figured he'd plug the gap. The Spartans are going to be coming you know, right behind, but uh, it's too late. I have all my guys up on this position here. And because I have these Eastern Javelin men who are short range, um, they needed to wait for the perfect time to engage, and that was right now. So he's been pulled into this trap. I wanted him to come right through this gap, so that's why I didn't really put anyone there. wanted him to charge forward. So my cavalry did what they do best, which is come in and just wreck the initial front line, taking out his skirmishers, and now I'm going to be making a beeline for his onager forces. Over on this front, the opponents have now successfully docked and they're going to be moving out, starting to capture these towers. Um, we've decided to retreat. Thracian nobles are very strong, so we figured, you know, we do as much initial damage from a distance as possible. So over here, for instance, he's just taking this tower and all my javelin men are stationed over there, just getting free shots on my opponent, murdering them before his, uh, his unit can even rally. Yeah, right out the gate. They're just obliterated. He's going to be sending some other of these guys here relatively soon. Although he's a little scared away because of my uh, the damage I can deal with those guys. So mostly we're doing a policy of just pulling the enemy into um, our position. And then I also have these uh, elite Persian archers stationed strategically behind a couple layers. And let's watch those arrows just coming in. So actually they're going to be targeting these guys. So that's what allowed me to really murder these, was the <coughs> combination of Peltus and then the long distance archers. So I'm really liking how this siege is playing out. Uh, it's got a lot of strategy to it, especially with the deployment. Now I'm going to be pulling my archers out here to get some shots quickly on his forces. Over in the back, he, I've drawn his Spartans in a pursuit, but uh, he's too slow, this opponent. Kind of gave up on this front wall and he's going to be targeting me instead with some of his ranged units. So he's starting to do some damage to my javelin men, but that's fine. I just want them there to soak up the fire. Over on this position, Thracian nobles are coming in, pouring in here. But again, we have you know our skirmishers at a distance. And I have some reinforcements, Parthian swordsmen, set up in these various positions here. And I'm held holding back these Parthian archers for the inevitable counterattack by the Spartans. That should be coming in relatively soon. Oh, 
think I put it on pause. There we go. So I can go back to over here for me wiping out this uh, Spartan force. I will admit this was pretty easy to toy with this Spartan player. He kind of seems to be grouping all his forces at once and jogging around. So I'm doing my best to exploit that. And uh, we're going to be seeing another assault on this uh, this opening right here. This kind of reminds me of uh, Helm's Deep where the orcs just poured through here. Um, and I can't wait till they, they develop a, a Total War, um, I don't know, Lord of the Rings somehow mod. I know they have it for Medieval, but if they could bring it to Rome too, um, just with the, you know, this kind of animation and detail would be really cool. Then you could have this charge on Helm's Deep where you could actually put up a decent fight with archers along the walls and javelin men. Anyways, my opponent kind of pushed in here uh, because of the fact that we had a, a spear wall. He didn't want to engage too much. And then we had more of these archers who I had redeployed. So that forced him back. So what he's doing is he's pulling back to basically uh, this point, the stronghold that he has taken. And he's going to be sending in all the rest of these Peltes. So those are going to be very strong units, uh, especially for wiping out units in close quarters like I have. So I've sent out sort of a fodder group, my elite Persian archers here. Um, I wanted him to recapture this area. However, he's going to send an intercepting party up through this mix. So I get some initial shots off against his men, and then he's going to engage with me. I'm going to try and pull them back to this position. I'm thinking about reinforcing. Uh, our opponent is actually going to be swarming through multiple fronts. He's going to engage these Persian archers that I had in uh, position here for support. So we're actually just being swarmed on this position. Uh, my allies, Cretan archers, are just getting too close for comfort. Uh, they really need to draw back and just put on supporting fire. So he's kind of breaking through at this point. Um, like I was saying, these nobles have some really good stats. I deployed some of these uh, Parthian swordsmen. They're going to be just the uh, the unit to hold this choke point, and they should be able to hold out relatively well. That's what they're going to be doing here, holding back this force and allowing a controlled retreat of my guys back across the river. However, he's going to counter charge and uh, yeah, basically sandwich both my forces. So a good assault, you know, on his part. So what we're trying to do from a defender's perspective is, you know, force him to do that. Yes, he's going to be able to, uh, you know, counterattack and slaughter one of our units, but it's making way for the rest of our forces to form up right here and get some initial shots. So let's go ahead and watch that. Very cinematic. Almost seems like you're watching a movie where these barbarians are coming to swarm the city and it's just a staggered defense. So every charge he makes, he's going to be running into more and more of these... Uh, these forces peppering him and I did keep some of these guys back here let's put this on pause just because there's a little bit else uh, other stuff happening elsewhere on the battlefield so over here he's pouring through these gaps however we have Cretan archers and then some of these Parthian archers so any of these openings basically look at this I've got these areas covered with my arrows you can see more and more of his guys just getting picked off looks like one of the commanders was picked off so he's deciding to pull back and uh, find a different avenue. Maybe one of the things he's deciding to do, or at least what it seems like, is use these Peltists, who are going to try and clear their way through here. And it seems like he's sort of um, working together with his ally, using these Helot archers to try and clear this area and allow for the pushing forward of these forces. Also, these Spartans are going to be pushing forward in this area right here. So I have position on all fronts, basically a big bottleneck to greet him as he charges through here. What I'm also going to be doing here is waiting for the perfect moment to engage these guys with those. So hopefully we can capture both of those moments. Let's watch this one. So here are the Spartans charging forward. Going through that gap, the archer is engaging. Let's go ahead and watch this moment over here that I definitely want to show you. There we go. So he's moving up just at the last moment. We're going to set these balls of fire off. We're going to go rampaging through his men, burn a couple of them. And then my archers are going to make a quick retreat, although some of them do still get stabbed in the face. But combined with that assault, look at my cataphracts here. They're going to be waiting for this engagement, taking a bit of fire. But now that the fireballs have cleared, here we are charging through there. Some really epic shots gonna devastate his uh, his troops here however he's just streaming over with all of them and these guys have pretty high armor penetration so they're actually gonna be cutting into my cavalry very well but again we have more reinforcements from this side if you want to take a look at what's happening back here we also have all the other archers who have pulled back to this side of the river almost yeah murdering these units who get across and then the rest of them here we're gonna be picking them off however he has deployed more of these javelin men 
up at the top of the hill. Here we go, streaming in here. They have exploited this gap. They're going for the capture point. Um, but this is where we're going to try and deploy more of our guys. So here you can see the Athenian hoplites pouring in, trying to stem the uh, the flow of these nobles. Some of my own archers are going to try and bait him again. But you can just see that the charge on these guys, they just absolutely destroy any of my Parthian swordsmen who are trying to hold up. There you go, they're obliterated. I was able to pull out my general for a little bit. Over on this side, my cavalry returned and did a bit of a, an envelopment on his forces. So you can see here the Spartans leaving the battlefield in disarray. Weren't able to take this wall and you can see them all fleeing. So we're going to be cleaning up on this engagement. Meanwhile, the uh, Thracians are making a decent push, forcing us back on this front. We have nothing really to fall back on, so they're making a good push there. We do, however, have some more reinforcements here. Looks like some of them are actually waiting <laughs> underwater. That's kind of funny. But uh, yeah, we have some guys ready to deploy back here. The rest of his forces are still positioned here. However, these are mostly his Peltists. These guys are decent in melee, but now that we've actually been able to uh, disengage some of our hoplites who came in, with the archer support on that side, we were able to just break their morale. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick siege. Definitely cinematic, had some awesome moments. The um, the balls of fire coming through here, followed up by the cataphract charge, was really, really cool. Um, and it's just a testament to some of the cinematics you can get on uh, Rome 2. Also, the uh, the double envelopment on this whole position here, and just how that leads to a, an all-out massacre. But yeah, I'll, I'll I'll bring you guys another siege that I did relatively soon. I think it was a three v three, basically Rome against Egypt. So I'll bring you guys that battle. See you in the next one. Thanks so much.